Welcome back, everybody. Don't be afraid to follow me on Instagram at Andrew Does or Twitter at Andrew Says TV. There's a congresswoman I'm wondering if you guys have seen that I wanted to show you uh, who wants to prosecute people who are mean to her, pretty much. Um, congresswoman Frederica Wilson from Florida thinks that anyone who impersonates or makes fun of Congress people, Congress members, should be shut down and prosecuted. She says she'll work with whoever she has to to have them shut down and prosecuted, which means, you know, fined or sent to jail. It's pretty crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and watch it together here. I think it'll be better if we do that. Let's go ahead and start it up. Those people who are online making fun First of all, we have to stop it there. Your lady, lady, your voice. Lady, you're scared. <laughs> I think we all know that guy from like when we were 13 or 14 who had so many voice cracks, way too many, and way more than everybody else. Everybody who'd make it, like, come on, lady. This is too much already. I don't know if I can handle this, but uh, let's keep going, I guess. I'll go back it up a bit. Of members of Congress are a disgrace. And there's no need for anyone to think that is unacceptable. We're All right, obviously she she's uh, misspeaking there, but it just goes to show that she's just making this up as she goes along, and she doesn't really know what she's saying. Um, let's continue, shall we? We're going to shut them down and work with whoever it is to shut them down, and they should be prosecuted. You cannot intimidate members of Congress threaten members of Congress. It is against the law, and it's a shame in this United States of America. So she went pretty fast from people were making fun of people in Congress to threatening and intimidating really fast. She, she switched the notch up to 11, like a spinal tap there. It, it's pretty aggressive, because what she mentioned, she just conflated two different things making fun of people online and threatening and harassing and intimidating Congress people. This is scary stuff that's becoming way too normal. And how full of yourself do you have to be to think that you're so important just because you're in Congress that somebody can't make fun of you? This is a person making fun of you should be going to jail. This is getting to be more and more normal. A lot of the people I talk to on the street, and I don't mean, <laughs> I'm not even gonna make that joke. A lot of people I talk to on the street, let's just say they're wholesome people, um, I talked to them about online censorship during interviews, and it seems that people don't ask themselves, they want there to be a line drawn of what you can and cannot say. Um, offensive speech comes to mind, like racist or Islamophobic is a big one, you know, that, that fun made up term. And I can't believe people don't ask themselves, who gets to decide this? Who gets to decide what is, first of all, what is mean and what is not? mean what is acceptable and what's not acceptable but also who decides the intent like are we censoring jokes are we censoring um just people who we think really mean it you know andrew i think you really meant that you weren't joking i get that all the time people can't tell i'm joking i have a tendency to act like i've known everybody for 10 years and they'll understand uh that i'm joking when i'm you know trying to be really offended by things on purpose they think i am really offended and who decides what the person's intent are how could you possibly decide on a tweet what a person's intent is so it's it's pretty scary how many people just think um on one hand they hate the government they hate trump or whoever they even hate justin trudeau which is a thing in canada a lot both sides hate justin trudeau one side likes that like he's actually not a great prime minister that's what they think. And then the other side is like, he's not uh, far left and progressive enough. He talked a big game about being super progressive. And he's only a little progressive, you guys. He's not full-blown communist. So on one hand, they, they strongly dislike the government. On the other hand, they want them to take care of them, decide what is right and wrong, police people's speech, um, and also give, it, give them everything for free at the same time. So you can't have it both ways. And you definitely can't have people... Uh, going to jail for being mean.